I'm going to read from, I guess, two-thirds of the way through Cosmo, collection of stories, and hope you enjoy. Okay. It's called The Land of Plenty, and it's actually a, a short story in emails, um, and I'm going to read more or less one and a half of those emails. So not a long time. Nobody likes to hear too much fiction, right? So, so The Land of Plenty. Dear Gary, I've been considering your offer. It's a deal, man. You'll be helping me more than you can fathom. Sincere thanks for thinking of me in my time of need. So how about we jump right in? How's this, for instance? If I decide to buy the small veggie subs, and by small, I mean the modest six inches, and I politely refuse those thin bricks of processed cheese, American cheese, they're called in happy commercials, or even the smallest dollops of mayonnaise or oil called sub sauce by those in the know, or other fatty and high caloric sauces, Chipotle Southwest, say, or sweet onion, light of my life. And I have this assembled and rolled in nine grain bread with its roughish, earthy exterior and thin particles of flax seeds, then I can begin a new life. Not necessarily a longer or more worthy one, for who can foresee the stupidities and vagaries of time? Public transit dragons, falling ice, penis tumors, high profile legal betrayals or even a life remembered by a generational fetish group, or one preserved in pigeon shit splattered iron and bronze, or in the pages of rotting, useless books that stand with jutting chins before the last fire or storm wipes away their synthetic inks, but a life that is now and then touched by beauty and goodness and occasional mercy because Subway, you obviously know the secret. That life is shit. Forgive me if I sound defeated. Obviously, things have changed. The thought of only $150,000 in savings stretched across another decade has necessitated some changes to my lifestyle. I have taken to using public transport, a money-saving venture, surely, but one that maintains a sense of realism. There is no chance of transcendence on the subway, is there? Can you imagine me pressed into the common dark of the metro, the local routes, the shuttles of the STM? Amid the armpit webs, the sneeze radiuses, the slow dawns of groping recognition. It's a weird scene. It's got me jumbled. I forgot ugliness was ugly, Gary. But back to the task at hand. How about we end that first riff with this? Believe me, brothers and sisters, I'll be dropping in to buy the six-inch veggie subs, because if I choose the healthier options, I will lose weight and become healthy physically. And we all know mental health is a byproduct of physical health. Good? Let me know. It's great to be on board. Sincerely, L. Cohen. <laughs> Come. <laughs>